Patrick Kane gets the puck, sends it across for Campoli. Went over his stick, but Ryan Johnson clears the zone. Hamhuis intercepts, dumps the puck back in. Campoli has it, flips it. Burrow steals, cutting in, shoots, scores! They've slayed the dragon! Alex Burrows, 5.22 into overtime. Game seven goes to Vancouver. And the Canucks are off to the second round. Burrows bags it. And the Canucks celebrate. They've done it. They've clobbered the Hawks. It took a while to get there. Up three games. Tied. Overtime. And Alex Burrows goes blocker. Canucks are going on to the next round. They're all celebrating inside the Vancouver Blue Line. The Hawks patiently waiting to shake hands here. The third time the charm for the Vancouver Canucks, who were eliminated two years in a row in game six of the second round by Chicago. The Canucks almost the victims of maybe the greatest clawback in NHL history, but that's a moot point now. Alex Burrows with both goals in game seven, the winner in overtime, and now these two bitter rivals shake hands at center as the Canucks prepare to take on Nashville in round two. Burrows had his fingerprints all over this hockey game. Opens the scoring, misses a penalty shot, is in the box for overtime. And when he gets out, he makes no mistake. Time to exhale, Vancouver. Time to exhale, British Columbia. This province was ready to explode, and not in a good way, against its team if this Improbable comeback by Chicago had been completed, but instead the roof of this province has been blown off by Alex Burroughs, who went five games in this series without scoring, but now has three in the last two. And don't forget the stop by Roberto Luongo off Patrick Sharp with Burroughs in the penalty box. Oh, how things can change in sport. And Alex Burrows is the hero here on a Tuesday night in Vancouver. Coming into the playoffs, he had one game winner under his belt. He's going to need a bigger belt, Shorty. The chant is Lou. As the Blackhawks complete the handshakes. And they'll head off. They went down as champions would. And the Canucks now salute this crowd at Rogers Arena. Chicago not the same team it was a year ago. But you can't deny the heart of the Blackhawks. Bested in game seven by Alex Burrows and Roberto Luongo. And these fans are going crazy here as the Canucks make their final exit. Our Rick Ball is standing by at the Vancouver bench. And he'll be joining us in just one second as Henrik Sedin gets a big hug from Ben Brown of the Canucks Media Relations Department. And now Ryan Kessler joins Rick Ball. Take it away, Rick. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, well, Ryan, talk about emotions, not just the series, but that game. How crazy was it out there? That was great. Um, it's game seven. It's exciting. And, you know, we uh, we deserved this one. And, and we fought hard. And, you no, know, Burr, Burr played one of the best games of his career. And you, you kill off the penalty early in overtime. We'll get to that in a second. But, uh, you know, the late goal, shorthanded, obviously, uh, let the air out of the balloon a little bit. What was the vibe in the room between the end of the regulation and overtime? We believed. Um, you know, if one word, we we knew they, that those guys didn't respect us. They didn't think we could win. And and uh, we, we wanted to come out and show them, and, you know, we did. Big kill, obviously early. Burr's in the box. You kill it off. He comes out, makes amends with the goal. Yeah, you know that was a huge kill. Um, we killed that Burr's been a, one of our best key cares all year, and, and we did it for him. 
And, you know, he, he, he pays us back by scoring a great goal. Ryan, I know it's a, obviously an emotional win, but it's just one step along the way, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's one step. Now we move on. We celebrate tonight. You know, we got over this hump, and, and now now we're going on to the next round. Give us a real quick thought on Nashville. Yeah, they're, they're a tight defensive team, and, you know, we gotta we got to play our best hockey to, to, to win against them. Thanks, Cass. Congratulations. Thank you. Rick, you can tell just by the tone of his voice, the pitch of it, how excited Ryan Kessler is. Uh, sometimes not as much emotion in the interviews he gives, but there was a lot of emotion there as Roberto Luongo now tosses his goal stick to a lucky fan in the seats just inside the Vancouver Blue Line. And it's party central here at Rogers Arena, Dave. For a while there, you thought maybe <laughs> it might not be like this, but it is now. And the hero of the night is Alex Burrows. And Alex Burrows, oh, I thought he was going to be with Rick. He's heading off the bench. Alex Burrows is going to do a TV interview. He joins Kevin BX on the ice. They exchange hugs here. Imagine the emotions for Alex Burrows. All right, here's Rick Ball again. Well, Kevin, uh, what can you say about that game? Obviously the right finish, but uh, the emotions must have taken a beating. Yeah, wow. Still trying to calm down. Uh, what an amazing feeling. Uh, I know a game that we were ahead the whole time played well. They battled back and got one uh, with a couple minutes left, and we were resilient. We had a good feeling in the dressing room going into uh, overtime, and and uh, it worked out. You know, obviously, when you're up three zip and you find yourself in a seventh game, and then you give up a, a short hand goal late. Um, what are you thinking at that point? I mean, to come out like you did, kill a penalty early in overtime and get the winner. You talked about resiliency. That must have been a big part of your guys' uh, victory tonight. Yeah, it's one thing to say that you're a mentally tough team and not really go through any adversity and, and cruise through the season. Uh, but to go through what we did, up three, losing three in a row, everybody betting against us, give up a late one, uh, kill a big penalty. It was uh, as resilient as you could get. Kev, congratulations. Good luck against uh, Nashville. Thanks, Rick. We got Roberto Luongo here, guys. Uh, Louis, congrats on the win. An emotional series, an emotional game tonight. Just uh, what's going through your head right now? A lot of things, but uh, it's so awesome when you see a goal like that in overtime. Uh, you can't beat that stuff, man. You go from uh, you know that late goal, shorthanded, and uh, then you have to kill off a penalty early in the in the OT period. Obviously, that was huge, and to have Burr step out of the box and get the winner must have been massive. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. You know. Uh, uh, it was great that I was able to witness something similar in the Olympics and uh, really helped me out in my preparation for uh, for overtime and uh, came out. Obviously, I had to make one big save and then uh, Burr sealed it. A, a similar save like he had to make in the Olympics too. It was the other shoulder, I think, wasn't it? But it was a shoulder save. Yeah, it was a shoulder save, but this was uh, more of a backdoor play. <laughs> it's just nice to be able to be rewarded. I mentioned this to Kessler. It's obviously a great win over a team that's had your number the last two years. But it's just one step along the way. You still got a lot of work to do. It's only the first round, so <laughs> it's uh, that's what the playoffs are all about, you know. Uh, like I even I said even before they started, there's a lot of ups and downs, but you got to stay with it. You got to stay composed. And obviously, these guys didn't quit. They didn't. Uh, they didn't want to let us go easily, and uh, we found a way to win. All right, Louis. One last question. You don't get to start in Game Six mentally. You come out in Game Seven. You make some big saves. You give up just the one goal. How tough was it mentally to get ready after what happened the last game? You had said all the right things after the game, uh, and yet your opportunity tonight, and we're a big part of the win. Yeah, it wasn't easy. I'm going to be honest with you. Obviously, uh, you know, I'm a competitor. I wanted to play, and uh, like I said, though, you know, you put the team ahead of you, and uh, I think the best thing that could have happened to me was uh, going in late in the game, Game Six, and uh, not having to think. Just jump in there. Uh, you know, made a few saves and uh, got back in the rhythm. Thanks a lot, Louie. Congratulations. Good luck against Nashville. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there he is. Uh, Roberto Luongo made that big save off Patrick Sharp, guys, in overtime. Huge penalty kill. And then Alex Burroughs, uh, what a game for him. He probably could have had a couple more. Uh, but they kill off the penalty with Burroughs in the box, and he winds up being the hero in OT, and this place is still going crazy. <laughs> what a roller coaster ride for Alex Burroughs. Baller, great job. A candid interview with Roberto Luongo there. Uh, fully admitting this was not easy for him as a competitor to have the uh, disappointment of not starting game six, but what a game he played in game number seven. And Alex Burrows with that roller coaster ride that featured a couple of goals, a missed penalty shot, a penalty in overtime. Oh, my goodness. He will be exhausted mentally at some point not too long after this game. We remind you again, 
The overtime was brought to you by the Boathouse, and we are happy to announce that you can continue catching Vancouver Canucks playoff hockey at the Boathouse Bar. Appy hour on every day from 3 to 6. Appy's just $2.99 and daily beer and cocktail specials for $4.99. And while we're talking about business, let's mention as well that the overtime winner by Alex Burroughs produced another winner in Safeway score and win. Lorelli Smahov Smithers by swiping your free club card. You've won a Pentax Optio i10 digital camera. Congratulations to Lorelli on the biggest goal of the year for the Canucks. And Dave, I would put to you the winning goal in the second biggest game in Vancouver Canucks history. I don't think you can ever surpass Game 7 and 94 against the Rangers until you win a Stanley Cup. But in my mind, this game, at this juncture in Canucks history, with the fallout that likely would have occurred had the Canucks lost a 3-0 lead to Chicago and bowed out in the opening round of the playoffs, Canucks win in overtime, in my mind, the second biggest game in their history. And one of the most opportune moments for Alex Burroughs, who uh, battled some some press in the first couple of games of this series. And, of course, when uh, the Hawks even things up, Burroughs had a fantastic game, though, in Game 6 and follows it up with the first goal of this game, the last goal of this series. And I'll tell you what, it was an emotional roller coaster all the way through, but uh, it's just the first round. <laughs> it's going to continue and the Canucks will continue to play as well. Uh, the winning goal, uh, I forgot to write it down. It came at 5.22 of overtime. Thank you, Blake Price, who is patiently waiting to uh, commence the post-game festivities. <laughs> It'll be a happy phone board. Blake is uh, pleased about that. It uh, could have been uh, something quite different if not for the end result of this one. We don't know when the Canucks will start the playoffs against Nashville yet. We'll keep our eye on any dispatches from the NHL uh, may not find out tonight, may not find out until tomorrow. Uh, may not find out until the Montreal Canadian series wraps up because television uh, commitments and uh, interests may uh, have a say in when the Canucks start their second round. But we can tell you they'll be in it, and it will be against the Nashville Predators. This memorable, amazing Game 7 from Rogers Arena is complete in overtime. The Vancouver Canucks win it 2-1. to one. They win the best of seven, four games to three.